What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the Quinny Show. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Quinny. A return fan member, what's up, y'all? We back in that thing. And by the title of the video and the thumbnail, you see your girl is on part two, day two of Spark delivering at for Walmart. So yesterday, y'all, um, actually we made $77 because I got a $16 incentive from Spark, which was amazing. So we made $77 all together for that trip that we did yesterday. Today we're back at it again, me, hubby, and the clan. We are headed to Walmart to pick up our first delivery that just came through, and I believe it's for $20. It's gonna probably be a lot of incentives because today is St. Patty's Day. Shout out to all my St. Patty folks that like to celebrate. Um, so we're gonna do this for a couple of hours because we're up and don't really have anything to do today. So I'm like, why not make some more extra money? And I wanna see what the incentives look like working on a holiday if you do work one. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for that. We're gonna probably do a lot better. We're showing you guys the process because that was my first day yesterday. So this is day two, y'all. Me being employed with Spark. Hey, shout out to us. Um, and so we're finna go pick up our first order now. And then once we get the order, I'll come back on here. If you haven't already, make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe. Turn those post notifications on so you never miss when your girl drops a video. As well, go ahead and turn to my personal channel, The Quinnies for Vaughn. I'll go ahead and drop that link down below as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and pick up these deliveries and make some money on this morning. Let's go. Okay, y'all, we made it to Walmart. Um, so we have three orders in this batch. So here's a list for some of the stuff we have to get. Y'all know I have an SUV, so I'll be okay. Um, and then another uh, person's list has 16 items. So we'll be getting all this. We're doing curbside today. I don't know if I said that before. And then the last person has 26 items. So we should be um okay that but we have three stops so how what i learned as well is that it goes by the number of stops and like i said this order is like twenty dollars and twenty cents but it has an incentive with it so i'll know what that is at the end um but um that's what i did learn is that depending on how much the batch is it'll tell you how much um the in, not the incentive but how many stops you have to do and it's in the corner at the top of the app so when we get our next order i'll let you guys know that and i have it set to stop um at 11 just to see you know how we do between now and 11 o'clock um and then we'll go from there if we're able to do more today we are but the goal is to at least stop by three or four no later than that because i want to enjoy some of my sunday today but um yeah, they should be coming out to us shortly. I think the guy's coming to us now. Yep, he's coming right now. So, we're about to check in, get everything going, and we're gonna go from there. Good morning. Good morning. 2472. So, I'm gonna break this up is two of the orders can go in the back because I think they're pretty small. They're not that bad. Um, and then I'll put one of Okay, we just finished our first drop at 8.56. We're headed to our second house now. Um, I'm gonna turn around, get out this little place. Um, but that wasn't too bad. Um, he had that, that was an easy place to drop off to from the store, so that was good. So now we're headed to um, our second drop, and then we should get there by 9.01. So after we drop off that one, I will let y'all know. Okay, we just delivered our second order. It was an apartment complex, which was, that's, this is the second complex we had to deliver to before. The last, yesterday's order, we had to go on the third floor and this order was just a walk up. So that was good. Um, it does have gate, it does ask you in the app like, um, do they have a gate code or I need a gate code or whatever? And luckily the gate was open. So I didn't see any gate code on the notes and the instructions. So the customers really need to look into putting their gate code, especially in Arizona, like all the apartments out here, they have gate codes on them, most of them. So that's a plus. I mean, you do have the option to call the customer too if you're having issues or you can't get to them for some reason. So I'm happy that um, they do give us that option to contact the customer if we're having issues while we're out so that's kind of good but we were lucky because um we were able to um get in get in without needing a gate code or anything so is about five minutes from this location so we're doing good on time and i had perishable items too um and i think i had until like 
Turn left. Nine. Then turn left. Almost 10 o'clock to deliver them. I think it was like 9 50 or something like that. So we're headed to our next location and I will be back. Okay, so we just completed the last and final drop. So um we're done with that one. Now we're just waiting. Right now it's just nothing there. So once you're done with your order, um once you're completed with your order. It does, um, so once you accept the order, let me just say that, once you accept the order, it takes all the other off orders off the table, so then you just focus on that order that you're going to pick up. And then, um, once you have completed an order, you go back in the queue because you said a certain time that you wanted to work into, until, so they go ahead and um, put you back in the queue so you can pick up, basically saying that you're back available to pick up orders that's one thing I do like about it you can turn it on and off like on uh, as you would like so if you're like no nah, I'm not gonna do it till 11 o'clock because I set mine for 11 because it be being Sunday and I know it probably will pick up a little bit later um, you can take it off and then you should be good or you can turn it back on if you're like okay yeah I need to refuel let me turn it off and then when you are back ready to start back up you could just turn it back on like you I think they give you like four hours increments um, or whatever but that order was $20, so we're good there. I'm actually gonna go get gas. I wanna say like so far, um, this is a nice little gig if you need like extra money or you're just bored or you just wanna do stuff um, to do have something to do, that's always a good thing. But um, gas wise, I filled up, I only put like $15 in my tank yesterday, I'm being completely honest with y'all because I wasn't really going that far. I'll do the same thing this morning um, to just, you know, cause I am under a half a tank and just see what that gets me. I'll probably put $20 in it just to put me like closer to full or whatever. But it does, it doesn't, to me, I don't feel the burning of the gas yet, but it did when we went all the way out to Peoria. So that was the only thing that I would say, like it does, um, if you do have a bigger car, it will affect it. Um, but I told it yesterday. Um, but it really depends on the drive. But we had to go out to Peoria yesterday for one of our orders because it was in our batches. Um, and that was the big order that we got for like $29 or something like that yesterday. So, and the customer can tip you. Um, it does, some of them do come with incentives and tips. That's why I got confused because yesterday we made $77.24 and not $55.24 because the tips haven't calculated yet as well as us picking up incentive shifts it didn't pop up either for us so let me get close to a bigger pump i know that i said i saw that um so the incentives are really good to have i guess it breaks even at the end of the day um i'm gonna really tell today because i didn't um really feel it yesterday so i'll definitely let you guys know but we're gonna get gas and then after that i will come back on here and see what we're gonna do next Okay, y'all, so we got our second order. We're about to head to Avondale for this one. Um, we got a curbside pickup, so we're about to head to Avondale and I 10 West arrival time on this route is similar to South 99. So we're gonna head to Avondale, do the curbside pickup, and then drop it off. It's within a mile of each other, so the distance is not too bad as far as um, drop off. So that's why I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, so we're gonna go ahead to the Walmart now to go do the pickup. And then once we get our order, I will come back on here. Leg eating. Oh, this order too, I believe this order is about $8, $9, something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty much picking up anything at this point just to get the idea of how this stuff would go. Um, once I've done this for a long time, I will start um, picking the orders that I want to take. Um, if you do pick an order up by accident, like if you pick up like a shopping order, you're like, no, I just want to do curbsides today, you can cancel it. But just be weary of the fact that they said you can only cancel so many times. It didn't tell me how many times, but if you do cancel, um, it will tell you like, hey, just you know, be mindful when you accept it. If you do make an accident of accepting something Please that you didn't want. Um, but I'm pretty much, like I said, I'm pretty much picking up anything right now just to get the flow of like how I want to do everything. I did put $20 in gas in and I'll show you where my gas tank's at. Which $20, like my husband said, is not doing anything anymore. So, I mean, it's up there. So we'll see. But I probably won't. If I get a couple more orders in um, Avondale, then I'll stay out in Avondale. 
um just so i can make my money's worth out there but if all the orders are coming back towards like phoenix area then i'll just stay in my neck of the woods right now but we have orders coming in from avondale right now so we're about to head there it's about from our from where we're at right now um from the last drop off it's about 10 minutes away so that's not too bad like i said i'm out here until 11 o'clock so we're just going to keep with the motion of everything so once we get to the walmart location y'all i will come back on here all right y'all we made it to walmart um the lady was already outside avondale's uh stepping their game up y'all other walmart step y'all game up um they, she was already outside so we're in uh reserve area two i just gave her the code what that she asked for and now we're just waiting on our order um but they is up on it today but this is our order that we're coming to pick up not too many things that we have to get so um we're just waiting for them to bring it out and then we're gonna head to our destination yeah no we have to scan it i'll show y'all what the order looks like in the back but it's not a lot of stuff so it shouldn't be that long so i'm gonna show y'all that in a minute Thank you, you too. Okay, so with this order, you guys, um, it depends on the associate, but the Walmart worker, um, he just handed me the um, the label to scan. Um, so I'm gonna get out and show you guys what it looks like once we get to the destination, and then turn left. Yeah, so we're headed there now, and we should be there in eight minutes. So that's where we're heading to now. My bad, y'all. I didn't even take a picture of the order because it was really confusing finding it's another apartment complex. And it was no building number on there, just the apartment number. So we had to really look for it, which was kind of frustrating because I, you know, I'm not familiar with the Arizona apartments because I used to, I used to live in an apartment when I first moved here, but um, just that you don't know the area. So it's kind of frustrating. Um, so... I did provide back in the app, like in the next time, please let customer provide building number so I'm not just driving around looking for their apartment number to save us time. Um, but other than that, we did deliver at 10 o'clock or 10.10 or whatever time it just was we just left. So now we're headed back to our neck of the woods, y'all, and then see if we get another order in the meantime. But I think we're about to go home, take a break because we left out really early. I left my mom with the baby, so we're gonna go check on her and everything, make sure they're good, and then. Okay, so y'all, we ended, that was our last trip. So we didn't come back on here, but our grand total was $30.79. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video.